Hey guys, Chris at Island Tech Productions here. Today's very exciting. I got something in the mail today, and it is the DJI Mavic Case Matic Protective Case. I originally have the DJI Mavic Pro case that came with the bundle, and after using that for roughly about two weeks or so, I realized that I needed a little bit more protection. One of the main nuances with it is that it's really tight. But when you stick in the controller, I noticed that the, the little pegs in the controllers don't necessarily fit right and it's kind of bent. So I bet eventually over time it, it's going to kind of warp the remote. I need something a little bit more roomier, something more professional looking when I bring it out. And also something that won't necessarily roll over in your car, especially if it's on your car seat. But if it's on the floor and it slides and I don't have to worry about it. At the same time, I was thinking about weight. I didn't want a heavy Pelican case. I know those tend to be very heavy and um, durable yes but um, as far as weight wise out of the question so the, I found the case Maddox uh, put a list, description of the link below I bought it on Amazon it's about $40 let me show you it all right guys here's the case Maddox case uh, the handle is pretty simple it's pretty straight up straight layout it has this nice cool graphics design not that it needs it but I think it also adds some support but these are the latches here these are on swivel hinges so you don't have to worry about the thing breaking off like if you open it one too many times it's pretty rock solid as far as opening and closing I just wanted to point out here I don't know if you can make it out this is the thickness of the actual stuff around it's like a PVC material so I wouldn't go around literally standing on this I don't think it's meant for that but it definitely is durable so I think if it like fell off from your couch area or your car seat when you're driving and it fell down, it should be pretty secure. It does have locks here so you, you can secure it with two locks. And it has a nice wide base, it's a little bit wider. It's bigger than I expected. But the good thing about this case, overall when seeing it, you don't know what it is. You might think it's a drill, perfect. Nobody's gonna steal it. So that's one of the good things about it. Probably weighs less than a pound. Let me just open it up. What you see is you get this kind of Kind of like an egg crate case on the top up here. It's velcroed in, but it's super padded. Down here, as you can see, I started already pulling some stuff apart. This whole thing is one solid piece with perforated foam, so you can just tear stuff out. You don't need any tools to rip anything out. Only if you're gonna be like changing the levels. You see the perforations. You basically just you just pull it out one by one, and then you just create the, the cavities that you want. So Obviously that's for, I measured it out for the Mavic and then this would be the controller and pull, okay, pull the, I pulled the battery out. This is the width of it so it's just right. You can see that I put the controller in this way and it fits right here so the, uh, the actual egg uh, crate stuff will be on here and at the very bottom there's a, it's a similar material on the bottom. It's about half of this so a lot of padding. Again, look, perforated here um, at, the th at the top on the sides, you can see it's also, that's how you tear it apart. What I wanted to mention to you is that the foam is like a high density foam. It, I guess what you fall into foam pits at like those trampoline areas, it's kind of that material, nice and soft, but the, I think they kind of went overboard with the perforations. One of the things I don't like is that you pull it too thin, then it might compromise the structural integrity. Like if you're making compartments like I have here. Rule of thumb, what I learned is that where you see walls essentially, you want this to be two blocks each. You can see it. This is kind of flimsy now. Once you put the shell on, it secures everything in place. As you can see, I have compartments for everything I pretty much need for a flight and then some recharging capabilities. So let's start with the Mavic. And it actually secures everything in place. It fits just right actually. Um, the remote goes here, folded. Okay, and then here I have the batteries. This is fine. Um, let's see what else I'm missing. Here is the USB charger adapter thing. That fits easily here. Here are my SD cards that I run with. There's four in here. I have this nice cool thing where I used to, uh, Lens Pro to go gave this. So I just stick that in here. And this is a good demonstration of what I meant. Look, it's starting to bow here a little bit. And because it rips like a little bit easier, but and then you can see some bowing here. Extra props that goes in here. This is the four hub adapter here. There's a little bit of space, and there's a reason for that. This is the USB cord to charge your remotes, and that fits snugly in there. This little pocket here, I fit the power cable 
So that can go in there. And finally, the actual charger itself, right? And then I added, I made a little extra notch room here. So the cord isn't bent too much, right? So as you can see, everything fits snugly. For good measure, this is the DJI Mavic Quick Access Guide. I can stick that in there. And then, you know, for professional, my pre-flight checklist, I can just stick that easily in here. And most important, FAA registration for this drone. It, don't forget to register your drone. I actually stick it, you know, in here and it's nice and snug. Perfect. As you can see, there's still a lot more room. I could have made it more compact, more efficient, but I wanted some leeway and everything that I need is in one area. Like, boom, I need this, I need this, I need my cards. That's essentially what I need for a flight. I don't need a car adapter because those things are in my usually in my car. That's why I haven't put it in here. Let me just close this up here and then like that. One of the main reasons I bought this, I needed some place for my Mavic to take off. You know, especially in like high grass, if I'm not necessarily hiking in with it, that's going to be a different story. It, you know, it makes a good platform, nice surface to take off of and land. You guys already know the Mavic and its reviews as far as its nuances with its setup. Hopefully you enjoyed this little presentation of the Peace Matrix. Again, it's $40. So when you actually stick in the Mavic, it actually fits just right. The Mavic itself, when it's folded up, you could probably set it up when it's open and you don't even have to fold it up, but that would de defeat the purpose. Again, this thing is really light. It looks durable. I needed something a little bit more bigger that I can stick all my chargers and everything like that. I really like it. It took me roughly about an hour to plot everything out and pull everything out. And then if anything, don't throw these away. You can just stick it back in and then maybe you can glue it in place. But I think once you stick it in, it, uh, it's pretty secure. It's all about budget for me. So this was $40. Perfect. Uh, I think the next one up is $50. But because I'm in Hawaii, a lot of products I don't actually get shipped here. So if I wanted a, a Pelican-like uh, case, it's much more thicker. Yes, more durable, but weight-wise, it's much more heavier and it's more thicker. So I wanted something thin, kind of like a briefcase. This looks like a briefcase, very incognito. You couldn't tell that the Mavic was in here. I have heard that these foam stuff do rip after a while. Uh, hopefully the company actually has replacements. I'd like to know what you guys use. Leave a comment below. Thank you for tuning in. Like and subscribe. Thank you guys for all your support and looking forward to a good year bringing you guys more good stuff, flying in general. And you guys have a great one. See you guys next time. Mahalo plenty.